Good morning, you guys. So it is about 11 o'clock and I just got out of the shower and blow dried my hair. And I wanna show you guys what products I used, but I am just hanging out with Mr. Lenny. Come here. I'm gonna show you guys what products I use quickly in my hair every time after I get out of the shower. And that is, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Spray. I then use my Olaplex Bonding Oil. And then I use the Kenra Blow Dry Spray. I absolutely love this stuff and it smells so good. So I put that in my hair before I blow dry it and then once I'm done blow drying it and before I straighten it or curl it or do whatever, I put in this hot spray by Kenra. And this is also a heat protectant. So I'll just put this in a few sprays all over and brush it out and then I'll straighten. I'm gonna be making stuffed peppers for lunch today. Um, I have about like four peppers in the fridge that are gonna go bad soon. I have some ground turkey as well that I need to use up. So I'm gonna put that together today pretty soon here, but I just wanted to show you guys um, some glasses that I got in the mail from Warby Parker quickly. I need to get some new glasses because my prescription um, got renewed and my eyes got worse, so I need a stronger prescription. I did get the at-home try-on from Warby Parker, so I'll show you guys the five pairs that I picked out to try on. So this is what it comes in, just like a little box like this. And you open it up, and your five pairs of glasses just come in. Come in. So I'm not gonna try on the pairs that look bad on me. Well, actually I will, whatever. I'll just show you all the pairs that I got. So the first pair I got is the Welty Tortoise. It's in a tortoise color. And the ones that I currently have on are from Warby Parker and they are the Wilkies. And they're like a dual um, color. So it's brown on the top, blue on the bottom. And I'm very blind, so I cannot see anything right now. So these are, again, the Welties in a tortoise color. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> so these are enough. I also asked all of my family members on which ones they like best, and I'll show you guys. Okay. The second ones are called the Hardy in Striped Pacific. So it's like a blue color. And I really do like these, but I feel like I wanna go for like a bigger glass shape, glasses shape, just because these do remind me a lot of the ones that I have now. So again, these are the Hardy in blue. The third pair that I got are these clear ones and these are the Brady's. And I know clear is really in right now and I've been dying for a pair of clear glasses, but um, I feel like when the style gets like old and not in trend anymore, they'll just kind of look weird. So, but I do like them. I do like the shape of them. Hopefully you guys can see them okay. So again, those are the Brady. This next pair I got is called the Wilkies. So these are the same pair of glasses that I currently have now. I just thought I would try them in a black pair. So these are the Wilkies in black. And 
And then the last pair that was my family's favorite is also the Brady. So I got two Brady's, the clear one and now this black one. Um, and these have a white stripe on them all around the glasses part. So I think I'm going to get these. What do you guys think? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Here they are in, a, in some different lighting. So let me know if you guys like these. I really need some new ones and I just need to decide. So. so if you guys are interested in the at home try on with Warby Parker, you do get them for five days, five, not 10. Um, this is not sponsored in any way. I just am a big fan of Warby Parker and their glasses are pretty um, inexpensive. They're about like $95 per pair. And if you guys um, have to wear glasses like I do, you know that glasses are not cheap and they usually run like 200 to X amount of dollars. So I really, really, really love Warby Parker and their glasses. So I'm just gonna get some things prepped right now for stuffed peppers and I will show you guys um, how to make them. All right, so I have three peppers that I'm gonna be using. Um, just a green, red, and yellow pepper. So I'm gonna give these a wash and cut them up. All right, I'll show you guys how to cut up one of these and then I will just kind of speed through the rest since probably most of you know how to cut a pepper. But um, what I'm gonna do is cut this in half because um, I'm gonna use half a pepper as one of my peppers for the dish and I need six halves. So what I do is kind of cut that in half and gently pull apart so that it leaves the center piece with the seeds on so I don't have to do um, much cutting. So. And then I'll cut this one out so that we can get rid of that center piece and just throw all those seeds away. Like that and then I just cut that inner flesh out I got everything cut so these are gonna be my six peppers if you guys have a bigger family and want to do full peppers you can do that just cut them like this and cut the center out obviously don't cut them in half but then you can just put the stuffing inside the pepper like that and have six full ones then you guys will have more food that way but just me and my son eat these my husband isn't a big fan of peppers so um i don't want a bunch of food going bad so i do it this way and now I'm just going to cut a bit of an onion so I can put this in the meat and rice mixture. I am now going to fill up a pot full of water because I need to boil each pepper for five minutes before I put it in the pan. And then um, I'll show you guys how to make the the meat and rice mixture that goes inside. All right, so you guys don't need too much water in there, just um, enough water so that the peppers are submerged. So I'm going to turn that up for that to get boiling. Um, and I usually do put hot water in there so that it boils faster. But the rice is about done here. And I always start this first because it goes into our meat mixture once we cook the meat. So I'm gonna put the meat in here with the onions and get that going as well. All right, as the turkey and onions are cooking right now, I'm just going to be adding some garlic, some minced garlic, and just 
do however you want. I love garlic, so um, that's how much I'm gonna do. All right, and as you can see, the water is boiling over here now, so now it's time to add the stuffed peppers in so that they can kind of soften up a bit before we throw all of the mixture together and pop it in the oven. So I should get my oven started now. So I am gonna preheat the oven to 350. And I'm just gonna put three of these peppers into the boiling water. Now that all of the peppers have been cooked, I'm going to scoop in the rice mixture. I'm gonna be pouring some tomato soup over. Um, this is the only soup I could find at my grocery store that was gluten-free. Make sure you cover with tin foil before putting in the oven. done with the dishes and I just cleaned up the kitchen a little bit wiped off the counters and the stove and now my timer went off so I'm going to get the peppers out um, and put some cheese on it all right so you're gonna take the foil off carefully because it's gonna be hot I'm just gonna sprinkle some Kobe Jack cheese on there and you guys can do how much ever you'd like the cheese is what makes it taste good. Okay, so now that I got the cheese on, I am going to put this back in the oven and I'm gonna put it in there for about like 10 minutes and you're gonna leave it uncovered now. for 10 minutes all right you guys here's the finished product they look so delish and smell so good so if you guys like this recipe please give this video a thumbs up I love to make new things and if you guys have any recommendations for me to try like healthy meals um, let me know down in the comments so I'm going to put one on the plate here and I'm going to eat some lunch. Do you need to go outside, sweetie? Huh? Should we go outside? Should we go outside? Can you give me a high five? Lenny, shake. Shake. Good boy. I'm just sitting down to relax. I opened up a bubbly. This is the mango flavor. It's just basically um carbonated flavored water so i'm going to work on some of my nursing school stuff i am done with nursing school tomorrow finally which i am just so ecstatic about but i mean i am a little disappointed that i wasn't able to see my teacher or any of my classmates for our last day but all in all i'm super excited so i do have a few last things i need to finish up and I need to get started on applying to take the NCLEX. So I am gonna get to work and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below if you have any video ideas. I'd love to know what you guys think and make sure to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video.